Hey beautiful, my name is Sunshine Rains. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today I came to say a few things about how I manifested my dream partner. Manifestation is really the entire act and process of getting anything that you desire. So you can manifest an A on your test. You can manifest a car, you can manifest a house. You can manifest just a good mood. Manifesting is bringing anything that you desire into your reality. If you're just starting with manifesting, it may take you some time to get these things that you desire. It may take you some time to figure out exactly what techniques work for you, but eventually you will get it down. So whether this is your first time here or you are a returning visitor to my channel, a couple couples ago, I did a series of videos where I would just wake up in the morning and recording what was on my heart of reading what what happened was a part of my daily routine and I would just upload it to YouTube and a couple of them were talking about how we were in a season of love. I kept getting messages that, you know, your person is coming. It's time for unity. Um, love is in the air and things like that. And I was being read to books. I have a couple of book reviews on here as well that were talking about how love is coming. And not only that, but personally, I was forced to really work on myself, love myself, and heal those parts of me that would be required for this partner that was coming in. So if you want to go check those out, I highly recommend it. It was just confirmation for me that the messages that I get, the downloads that I get, they're real. It may not happen when I think they're going to happen, but they're happening. Like it's already in the process. It's already manifesting. Speaking of not happening when I want it to happen or when I think it's going to happen, everything is with divine timing. Like all those things that I went through previously, all those things that I learned, all those things that I heard, they were preparing me for this moment. They were preparing me for this partnership. If my if I would have met my partner back then, I would have been a different person. They would have been a different person. We would have been two different people trying to, I don't even know if we would have tried to be together back then based on who we were, but it wouldn't have been right. Like it wouldn't have been the perfect timing. And it was just so, it was just so perfect how we met. Like it was great. I would always say pay attention to the signs, the signs that you hear, like those books that I kept getting and this, the messages in the books, like one of the books was talking about, <gasps> I just realized, okay, so I think it was, it was a heaven sent husband that I read, but it was another book about a, a road trip, like the girl, she was being a trucker for the summer with her uncle or something and she ended up being a partner and being a driver with this um other guy and they ended up falling in love in a short period of time and that's basically that's basically the story of me and my me and my partner now like we weren't truckers or whatever but it hasn't been that long and uh we're locked in like this is the love of my life i'm i've never felt this way about anybody else it seems like we've known each other for so long and we've been on the journey for so long it's only been a couple of months but i'm like it's it's just perfect it's so perfect and then another one that i was reading heaven sent husband it was basically saying like when god tells you your husband is coming your man is coming or whatever you're manifesting is coming be prepared for it do the things that the creator or god or the universe whoever you believe if they tell you to do something to get prepared for this baby you better get prepared because it's on the way you know what i'm saying it's like you order the let's say you move into your house and you order the kitchen table the kitchen table is already on the way it may take through months because it's custom order but in the process you don't want to have a bunch of clutter and stuff where your kitchen table is going to be you want to clean out that space you want to get ready and get prepared and visualize it and just know that it's coming and be prepared for that now let's get into the techniques of how i manifested my perfect partner so one of the things i did a lot was scripting i'm real big on journaling i love writing things down writing things down is a form of bringing it from your mind into this reality so you writing it down on a piece of paper is already making it real because it's physically here i would write about how much i love my partner how much i was the perfect partner for my partner um i would write about moments that we would have and dates we would go on i would write about our love for each other i would just write about it as if it was a journal entry that it was already happening so if you don't know what scripting is scripting is writing out things as if it's happening present day let's say you just went through your day and you're going back and you're reviewing it so you're writing it as it has already happened and um you just it's kind of just free flowing and you want to feel it you want to get into it and you really want to be there in the scripting like like it's real so you doing that continuously will bring it into fruition. And then it's crazy because I have scripts from like 2020 and I look back at it and I'm like, wow, like even the tiniest details have come true. So 
that's it's probably one of my favorite ways of manifesting scripting it's just like <laughs> it's just so great you can get into so much detail like you ever read a book and you they talk about the color of the shirt they talk about the how the wind felt crisp on their skin and the birds were and the waves were crashing and all of that like you can really go crazy with scripting another kind of journaling technique that i did was asking the creator to remove the burden of thinking so much about it because i would you know i'm getting these messages that my man is coming love is coming so the people that was in my life at the time i was looking hmm is it them is he them is it them i was always thinking about it i was always just waiting for it to happen and so i just would write out prayers to allow me to detach from the situation to allow me to get so-and-so the idea of so-and-so being you know my person out of my head and and it worked if you if you find yourself stressing about it just pray just ask the creator to take away that burden from you to fill your mind with more positive things and and if you if you're not a praying type of person you can actively and in the moment shift your mindset you can try to figure out something else to do you can go put your energy somewhere else into something that you could do something about like um be proactive with your time like so that was a really good one the next thing i did which is kind of a new manifesting technique that i've been doing for the last couple of months is using pinterest if you don't know what pinterest is it is a kind of a social media platform but it's just pictures and some videos that you can save to certain boards like say you have like a bulletin board and then you have folders on the bulletin board and then you can just put pictures in there put videos in there of certain in certain categories i have a board called i am in black love and it just has pictures and affirmations of of what i saw my relationships would be and then as i'm looking at those pictures i'm attaching affirmations to them so like I'm so in love with my partner. I love our family. I love reading to them. It just feels, and then kind of like scripting, but in pictures. I would feel it happening. I would search for the feeling that I would be experiencing as it's happening, and I would feel it in that moment as I'm scrolling through these pictures. And just looking at that almost every day or whenever I feel called to is a form of visualization, which is another manifestation technique. Just seeing these things. Pinterest is really good for visualizing things that you, you've never really seen before because you know you can only go as far as your mind imagines things. And if, you, if you've never seen black love in your face, if you never see it, it's kind of hard to manifest those things. It's, or whatever you're trying to manifest, it's kind of hard to manifest it. So that was a big... A big piece if you want to go check it out and just just scroll through it and feel yourself and feel that love coming and picture how it will be when you're in that situation and, and feel those feelings that you would feel as it's happening and it will draw it to you because feeling precedes manifestation word of abraham hicks you can't really manifest anything without feeling you have to be what you're trying to manifest okay you have to you have to already feel it because it's like your subconscious mind which creates your reality which creates all the scenarios and everything that comes to you in in a day-to-day -day, it doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's fake so if you're feeling sad it's going to attract sad things so you have to trick it into feeling happy you have to trick it into believing that these things are already happening so if i'm constantly looking at these pinterest boards and like yeah this is happening and i'm seeing it i'm looking at it it's like oh what's going on let me let me make this happen for real let me bring it into the reality because it's already happening so i need to bring more of it to this person i really recommend pinterest just to manifest anything you want to manifest your wardrobe that you want hairstyles um if, trips if you want to go to cancun baby type up some images to cancun look at activities you want to go ride a bike you want to go play with dolphins you can put it all in a pinterest board and you can manifest it that way the next thing i use for manifesting my dream partner was mantra loops so mantra loops are basically affirmations that rhyme and you just say it over and over over and over and over and the ones that i use are in song form so one of the ones i actually use is on my youtube channel that you can go play it every day and listen to it you can listen to it while you sleep put it on repeat mantra loops are really good for while you sleep because once again you're tricking that subconscious mind into believing it and you're rewiring it so it goes i am so deserving a princess treatment from my person. I always get it cause I'm worth it. 
They love me as if I was perfect. I am so deserving. And it just repeats over and over and over. And this mantra loop came to me because I didn't believe I was... I didn't believe I was worthy of princess treatment. I was so on my masculine energy. I've never really seen a woman get treated like a princess. And I've never really seen a feminine woman. So I knew that that's what I wanted. And so seeing that, rewind my subconscious to believe, created that reality. But now, baby, <laughs> I get princess treatment. Like, my partner, she's like a princess every single day. And it's just, it's just so great. So definitely check out that mantra loop. I know it's helped so many people. I've seen so many, so many comments. I put it on TikTok and even on YouTube with people saying that it's helped them, that they, I've seen people, I've seen someone tag their daughter and like, keep this in mind. Like, so it just, it works. These mantra loops work. I have a whole playlist of mantras for different things like communication skills, um, Detaching, which is one of those things that I was talking about with removing it from your brain. I have a mantra for that. I have a mantra for balancing your masculine and feminine energy. I have a mantra for pretty much everything that I've come across in my life that I need help with. And I'm sure there's going to be so much more. So I release a new mantra every month on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. I release it everywhere. You can add it to your daily routine you can put it on repeat while you sleep i even have a playlist that i'll tag in the description below that you can listen to full of mantras and i'm not the only artist that creates mantras there's artists like Jiminel, there's tony jones there's chrissy teeb there are a bunch of artists that create mantra loops but those three are the ones who really inspired me to start creating mantra loops because i heard of them first the next thing that helped me manifest my dream partner was doing the inner work you cannot Manifest someone who's going to love you and be the everything you need if you are not everything you need and you don't love yourself first. So you have to you have to do that shadow work. I've, I've been doing shadow work for about three years now. You have to do that shadow work. You have to become the person that you want to be loved by, basically. So it takes it takes some time. It takes some work to get done. And uh, it takes some rewiring of your subconscious mind. It takes some... Um, a different person because I wouldn't have manifested my partner if I was so in my masculine energy you know what I'm saying so you have to work on yourself you have to figure out what areas you need work on and all these things that you want from a partner you have to ask yourself seriously and truly be honest with yourself am I this if I was dating myself could I give myself this if my partner wanted the same thing for me could I give them this so that inner work is a very important very important step to manifesting someone who loves you because you can't be loved by someone if you don't love yourself. You have to know how to love yourself before you expect anybody else to know how to love you. And you have to love yourself before you can expect yourself to love somebody else. Let's talk about detachment a little bit more. Let's say you're trying to manifest your person. But like I said earlier, I just kept thinking about it, 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 thinking about it. It's never gonna come to you. You know how they say you can be looking for something. You say, "Oh, it'll never show up until I, if, till I'm, till I don't need it." That's exactly how your manifestations come. They come at the, at the most random times. Sometimes, like I literally met the love of my life at an open mic. I did not go there looking for a partner. I went there to go do some poetry and sing a little bit and rap a little bit. I don't even think I sang that night. I think I just rapped. But it comes when you let it go. It, it, you can't bring it into this world until it's out of your head. If you're constantly thinking about it, that's exactly where it's going to stay. You have to master the art of attachment. I have a mantra for that too. Everything I want is already mine. So I let it go. I free it from my mind. I am so aligned with my highest timeline. And I will always shine because I am so divine. Repeating that over and over and over in your head will allow you to detach from these things that you are trying to manifest. And it may take some time, okay? It's going to take some time. But eventually, it will all fall into place. So those are some of the techniques that I use to manifest my dream partner. Now, I just want to give you like some, some, some proof that the pudding is good. <laughs> okay. So me and my partner are very aligned. And that's another thing that I manifested. Like you have to be specific when you manifest. You can't just ask for a partner. You can't just ask for a boyfriend or girlfriend. You have to ask for the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend or partner. You have to ask for someone who likes this, someone who's a good communicator, someone, all the things that you want, you have to be very specific because you can ask for a boyfriend and then you can get 
you can get um, Tony from up the block and they don't know how to communicate. They're unfaithful. They're a liar. They're manipulative. They're a narcissist. You can, you have to be very specific because when you're trying to manifest things, the universe or the creator or whoever you believe in is trying to, is going to try to do whatever they can as quickly as they can to get you somebody. So you ask for a boyfriend, they're going to go find Tony from up the block. Okay, boom. But if you ask for somebody who can know how to communicate, someone who loves physical affection, someone who, someone who is in tune with themselves, someone who is willing to learn, someone who is, can teach you and you, you can learn from you, someone who, they're they're not gonna go get Tony from up the block. They're gonna see Tony's up the block and available. They're gonna go out on the checklist. They're gonna oh nope can't get you. Let me move on. That's why I was very specific with what I wanted. I made sure I was who I wanted to be, and we're just perfect like we both make music we're both creative we both like the same things we can talk about anything in the world um we learn from each other we we have fun we're just super aligned our values and our morals are aligned you know some things we don't agree on but we can see each other's beliefs from each other's perspectives and respect it and still be you know on our own but we're just super aligned and I'm so grateful for them. <laughs> I'm so grateful for them. Kind of already talked about how everything has been a, um, during a short period of time. And that's how I know, like, it doesn't take you forever to know when you really want to be with somebody. Because even not to compare my partner to any of the previous people I've dealt with, but I've never had this feeling. And I know for sure <laughs> this is who I'm supposed to be with. I I know you you when you know you know when you meet that person everything fits everything goes nothing seems forced nothing everything works and everything has been working perfectly everything has just been falling into place and I'm just I'm just so happy yeah that is how I manifested my dream partner I hope you learned a little from this I hope you gained everything that you needed from this and I am going to share more of my personal experiences because I was led to, um, I think I had a dream about it or I saw, I got a message, a download about it, but yeah, I'm excited to share more of my life with you so that you can learn and grow from my experiences, all the things that I'm growing through and going through and, and thinking about it, this is the whole point of me starting my YouTube channel. That's the whole point of my reflection because I want to share lessons that I'm learning and things that I'm experiencing so that you can experience it and you can learn and you can get the knowledge and the information that you need from it to move forward, to grow, to to be better and to develop into the person that you were always meant to be. I love you so much. Don't forget to check out those mantras. I'm so serious. I have a playlist on YouTube too if you want to just click over to that and listen to it. And you can play it in the background while you're doing stuff. You can sing to it, dance to it, journal to it, meditate, visualize to it, sleep to it. You can ride in a car to it. You can drink at a bar to it. You can go real far to it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yes, um, that's all I have for you today. I love you and I'll call you back.